Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of the cup action in Austria and Germany which I usually do not make a special video but there were quite some interesting results in there that I think is more than warranted to talk about these. But before I get there I want to thank everyone for the nice birthday wishes. Uh, really uh, was nice to see. Yes I did it maybe a little bit with just putting out the video for a birthday but you know. Thank you, thank you very, very much. And uh, every time I hear appreciative comments is always very, very, very welcome. So um, again, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, also a little bit late, I should have done this video yesterday, but because it's kind of my birthday weekend and because everything is, you know, Catholic, Austrian and national holiday, uh, with three days off, I can get more or less uh, a bit more than a week off um kids also at home so we did a little trip yesterday uh to the mountains which you know was also very 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 nice a little bit it's refreshing so i'm now thanks to a day off i can do the videos now during the day so i'm very happy uh, about that uh as for uh, <laughs> the choice of shirts I'm wearing, of course, Gladbach. Yes, I should wear last because <laughs> it's rare that they win, but what Gladbach did on my birthday, wow, 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 wow. We have to talk about it. Actually, on my birthday, it's a funny story. I, I barely watched anything because, you know, we had celebrations here and there. We, did, we took a nice walk and then I decided, okay, uh, let's just cut the video and uh, prepare for our trip that we were doing yesterday. So, yeah, uh, that was a teeny bit teeny bit bitter that I didn't watch this but you know because I probably would have watched that one so but I, I was happy and, and, and anyway I think uh, this week I'm um, overall and you get an Italy and Spain video later I'm overall quite happy uh, with what happened on the pitches overall and that doesn't happen very very often but yeah uh, choi choice of shirts here are basically all teams that I have in Austria and Germany that moved on then we have here three losers and then I added up doubling up Lusk and, <laughs> and Kern because they are Wolfsburg by him and, and Frankfurt already out. So there you go. We'll start as usual in Austria. Um, you know, again, I saw a little bit of the last game and the rapid game because they were showing in parallel on Austrian TV and I followed the other rounds. But the first two games on Tuesday are uh, very, very, very early. I mean, both teams from Kärnten had a really hard time, needed to go overtime against uh, lower level teams and I mean, especially Wolves. Wolves were 5 3 overtime win over Lafnitz and Klangfurt also against Weitz 1-1 one, one, and then uh, it got out of whack. Um, the big surprise was of course that Reed wins the Sturm Graz and there is a distinct Lusk and Rapid are doing very well, no, Rapid maybe not very well, but they are doing well on Thursdays. Let's do that. They're doing well on Thursdays, but then suck on Sundays in the league, where Sturm Graz is almost the, the other way around. They're not doing that well on Thursdays and are doing well on Sundays, and uh, that trend kind of con 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 continues. Uh, Reed had a 2 0 lead, and Sturm could only pull one back in the 69th and never could find an equalizer. So, a little bit of a shock uh, result because I think Sturm definitely were kind of looking maybe to win the cup because the championship is already out of sight. But yeah. Um, we have though Salzburg, Rapid and Lusk moving on, which, which together with Wolfsburg pro probably have to be seen now as the favorites uh, for winning the cup competition with Salzburg, the towering colossus uh, there. But you know, if there is a shock result, then one of the others probably will uh, swoop in. Uh, kind of remarkable Blauweiss Linz, uh, the other team from Linz. Uh, that game against their game against Hardback needed to be abandoned after 20, 20 minutes because a player who has already a defibrillator um, was kind of falling to the ground in big pain on the heart. Uh, so they decided to abandon the entire game. The player is feeling all right. He's in a hospital care and will be probably released, but uh, something was happening there. And that game will be replayed on Tuesday. Uh, as for Rapid, no problem at Amstetten. Uh, Lusk had a great first half from what I could tell. Uh, I only watched the second half, which was not that great. <laughs> 
uh, where they had numerous chance chances. They really can't control Rinko and Horvat or Michael put them in the lead. And right after they have four changes at the half for Tirol, who played in light blue, still with sparkly numbers, um, pulled one back. And yeah, had actually a big equalizing chance. But then also Lask had so many counter attacks that they clumsily played. It was kind of, yeah, was one of those games. Um, Lusk, I think, in the end, won deservedly. We don't have a draw yet. To the German Cup we go. Um, I have here selection results, mostly Bundesliga bon bon teams. I mean, uh, the Leipzig, Hoffenheim and Dortmund move on is probably not that surprising. Uh, Mainz needed overtime against Bielefeld. Bielefeld, I think, had her lead and Mainz turned around. Bielefeld equalized late and then in overtime uh, Mainz won. Freiburg 3-2 in overtime at Osnabrück from the third league. That was uh, kind of hard work, one has to say. Leverkusen not getting out of uh, really hitting the rocks again. It's always they start well and then they suddenly hit the skids a little bit. Um, I saw highlights of, the, uh, of that one where Queto puts uh, Karlsruhe 1-0 up before they have. And Karlsruhe very much with a counter-attacking uh, strategy. Leverkusen having a little bit hard time breaking down. And once it gets going, they get the goal by Frimpong and you really think, yeah, now the flat flat gets all open. However, uh, you never can count on the Leverkusen goalkeeper, who can be great, or he can completely combust. And he combusted, he plays a ball uh, to Joey Kimbok, uh, a rock, and he scores the winner, and Leverkusen cannot find an equalizer anymore. Another Bundesliga duel between Bochum and Augsburg also goes to overtime. Um, Union Berlin also needs, uh, <laughs> needs overtime uh, to win at Waldhof. So many overtimes. Uh, and I gotta say, before we go to the big re uh, result, the German Cup, I usually don't cover the National Cups with or, or, or already in the second round or whatever. The German Cup, uh, the Austrian Cup is, is a difference because there I watch, uh, the, but the German Cup is probably the best cup competition out there because uh, you have really all the big teams in there and they play their first team squads. And you get good games. It is not that, yeah, this is a secondary company. No, the German Cup counts. So uh, for that reason, I really, really go to the German Cup. And that's very important to put the Gladbach-Bayern result into perspective. Bayern did not play a second string squad. Although they probably should have. Because uh, to give some reserve players a chance. Uh, because they might not feel as, uh, as, as tired. Just saying it. Gladbach wins 5-0. After 20 minutes, they were 3-0 up. They stifled Bayern. This came out of nowhere. Absolutely out of nowhere. Adi Hütter said he never has seen one of his own teams play that well. Uh, so Kone are in the second. And Benzabaini adds uh, two more in the 15th and 21st. And then Mbolo with a brace also in the 51st and 57th. Uh, Bayern, I think they once hit the crossbar. And that was basically it. And I think they have not lost since the since the 70s that high, uh, like 5-0 or something. I mean, that, that, that also tell, 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 tell. I know there was one loss, 7-0 at home to Schalke. But that was at a time when the Bundesliga was not as lopsided. Bayern losing 5-0. I mean, yes, we had 5 ones against Frankfurt. Uh, this was all a little bit in there. But a 5-0... That's a loss of epic proportions for, for, for Bayern, which we do not see these days. I mean, my first instinct when I saw this result and I checked uh, uh, around the 60 minute, when it was already 5-0, five, five my first instinct was, what's happening here? Uh, is Bayern playing a B team? And then I look at the line, no, there's absolutely no B team uh, flavor there. And most Bayern players still don't know what happened to to to, to them. Uh, all I all I can say, I don't want to be Union Berlin who who, play, who Bayern is playing next because they will be out for blood now, or maybe not. Union Berlin is well coached. Uh, so yeah, this this result I just cannot believe. I mean, I saw the goals; it was uh, optional defending uh, at its finest. Let's put it that way. And then another Bundesliga duel, Köln with two uh, modest goals beat, uh, beat Stuttgart. Um, 
2 0 the goals came really, really late. I couldn't see highlights uh, yet, and uh, you know, maybe I will, may, maybe I won't. I uh, didn't have really, really, really much time. Uh, since I'm falling really hard for ASF to Köln as of late, although I do like Stuttgart, uh, you know, Stuttgart and Köln are both in my four Bundesliga teams, although they're only three now, uh, that I really, really like. So, um, but I think I'm falling definitely in the Köln camp and I'm wearing now Gladbach, which doesn't also fit. But yeah, Köln winning 2-0. Moving on to the Rex now. Again, I do not have anything yet uh, in terms of who will play whom in the next round. But, you know, I will add this in a stats cast once it is ready. In any case, let me know what you thought about this uh, round. Uh, it, uh, German Cup is wide open. It is absolutely wide open with Bayern being eliminated. Uh, it's anybody's guess now who will win it, and probably Dortmund will look. Yeah, we in, Le in Leipzig maybe too. We may have a chance, but I the German Cup is always there for surprises, and that's why it's such a fun competition and a really one to look out for. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon with more review videos. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!